Virtual reality seems to be the, the new trend that is going on right now. So there's a lot of VR type material out there right now with the, the Oculus and the, the HTC one. And you see a lot of YouTubers doing it right now with the games. So a company had contacted me um, and they asked if I was interested in looking at a sort of a mobile friendly cheap uh, VR headset and I thought might as well see what, what the fuss is about so let's jump into this. Hey what's going on guys back from our video and this one is looking at the, the Harbour 3D glasses as it's called or as VR, uh, a VR headset. Just going to quickly unbox this for you um, and I'll sort of give you my, my first impressions of it. So as you can see from the box, uh, it's kind of sort of plain and brown, uh, sort of like a standard packaging on the front. It gives that the Harbour logo and the name with the 3D glasses and the model number. You also see uh, a picture of it. On both sides it's the same thing, it says 3D glasses and the model number again. On top you have the Harbour logo and a little sticker that says the Harbour 3D VR virtual reality headset for 4.0 and 6.0 inches smartphones. Mm. Uh, iPhone 6s, 6 Plus, Samsung Galaxy and I'm guessing like it's a wide range of things it can support. On the back it gives you a little more detail as well. Uh, again supports the 4.0 and 6.0 inch mobile phones, one push controls to adjust focal distance and uh, object distance. Uh, more convenient to fit into the case with a magnetic attachment mode. Not sure what that is. Unique internal clamp um, and it sort of just protects the phone if fallen uh, and without the disadvantage of squeezing the side buttons, ventilation holes. I'm guessing that also gives you access to the ports on your phone. Uh, import uh, recent lens. Not sure what that is. Supports naked eye watch. So that's basically what, what the gist is in the box. Let's see what is inside it. So when we first open the box you get greeted by a little little manual, little tiny manual. Um, it gives you a little details. You've got a QR code inside there. Um, it shows you how to, how to set it up. Um, what each button does and stuff like that. You know your standard manual. You also get a little package where it looks like two little uh, sponge or foam uh, inserts as well as a wipe and a cleaner. And then you also get the, you also get the, the headset and wrapped up. Let's see. So once you take the, the headset out of this packaging, you also get like a little, one of these little clear cellophane things that you can peel off. Um, and as you, key, as you can see, it's sort of simple. It's got the the white outline with, with black and then the, the Harbour logo. It's, it's made of plastic. Uh, you have a sort of secure, secure straps on top. Um, these are adjustable and they feel high quality. Um, you also have on top a little plastic adjuster which makes you able to adjust the focus and um, the, the object distance, what it says on the back. Uh, you also get this sort of like foam padding around the, around the sides of where it would push up against your face. And then there is obviously the, the glass inside. Um, how it works is you would pull open the front and then you get that clamp what you have to just push and it opens up with a little foam part inside and the little foam part here is to fit around your phone so if your phone is small like uh, a sort of like a normal sized iPhone then it blocks out any any leak coming in once your, your phone is in there you've also got I don't know if you can see this here You've also got your vent shaft around the sides, on both sides, so whatever orientation your phone may be, that allows for you to put in any sort of cable, like for your headphones or if you need to charge it or whatever. So it's fairly simple to put your phone inside, you just open a little clamp on the front by pushing the button, then you get your phone and then you put it in the correct way, and you just line it up with the foam inside, and then put the clamp down again, and then 
your phone should be secured inside. Obviously, you'd adjust it better than what I did. And you move it up, and it's, it's inside, and you're good to go. And then you would just adjust the straps accordingly, put it over your head, and then you would go ahead, and that's the VR on. As I said, this was going to be an unboxing video and sort of like my first impressions. I've used this a little bit so far. I've also let some family members that are not into this sort of thing or, or know much about it use them. Um, they, they seem to enjoy it. They feel like it's comfortable. But if you have motion sickness, it, it is pretty bad sometimes. My, uh, my brother and my mum felt sort of dizzy afterwards um, and they felt a little strange. But it passed over time. The one major flaw that I've found so far is um, when you try to use certain games, there is no external button on here. So to interact with the phone, because some games uh, need you to tap the screen and move certain places. So that is a major flaw with this. It doesn't have any buttons anywhere. But for the price that you're getting for it, I think it's excellent for you just trying to see what VR is like and if you want to get into the space. So that was just a little quick video of uh, me unboxing it and sort of giving my first impressions. Again, I would just like to, to ask the company to rethink their design on the fact that there's no button to interact with the phone. That would that would be really handy, but for the price again, uh, you get what you, you pay for. I will, if you're interested in picking one of these up to see what it's like, again I would highly recommend it. Uh, there's a link down in the description. I've also got a code down there um, that gives you a discount. First come, first serve, it's not going to last forever, so if you want to just go down there and use the code, you get a little bit off and it's pretty cheap, so um, I would highly recommend picking that up. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, um, and if you didn't like it, please give me give me some, some comments down below what you, you thought, what I could change. Also, what do you think of VR? VR gaming, do you think it's going to be the future? Uh, with that said, I will speak to you guys in the next video. Peace.